It's training camp season, and today we're going to take a look at the Buffalo Bills and get another look at Keon Coleman. He's making plays every day at camp. He's blowing up. He fits well with Josh Allen. We're going to go over those highlights today. The new clips, the old clips, pretty much what I have is going to be unleashed right now. But before we dig in, you need to click that subscribe button. We're talking about these players every day, multiple players a day, what they're doing at camp. Guys that are going to be on your fantasy team, those rookies you're interested in, guys who are on your favorite team, it's all going to be right here. Click that button. Stop missing out on what your players are doing behind the scenes. We're looking at Keon Coleman today. We're going to see what he's doing on the field. Let's get this started. There's Josh Allen. Play action. Slipping the ball out there. Bam. Big catch. That one blew up social media. It was everywhere. All these clips are everywhere. You can't tell where they come from. Right there on the sideline. Here's another one. This one blew up first day. First day. I believe I got multiples of that one. Right by the sideline. Sticky hands. Smooth for a guy his height. But he's expected to do things like that. Win on the boundary. Win downfield. Contested catch rate should be up there. Contested catch attempts should be up there. Josh Allen just pushing it downfield to him. Subtleness on the feet. Remember, taller, lankier. The route running will look different. That's older. That just got in there somehow. Right by the sideline. It's play after play, day by day. He's another story from training camp. We're going to talk about that more later today in another video too. Coming out his way, making catches. Big catch radius, strong hands. Gets downfield. I should, or we should, see him get a good average depth of target. 10 plus yards this year. Getting targets deep downfield. We should see Josh Allen toss it up to him in the end zone a lot. When they're inside the 20 to 10 yard line range. Red zone. That's what the kids call it these days. But the catch radius, the strong hands, the ability to jump up there, box out at the catch point. And he is a better talent than Gabe Davis. Allow him to season a little bit. He will be better. And I don't think it's going to take him that long. And over by the sideline making grabs. He is a fluid mover for size. You should not compare him to Stefan Diggs. You should not compare him to Justin Jefferson. You should not have those expectations with him. Because he's bigger. He's a more of a he's fluid for his size, but he ain't gonna move fluid like that. He is gonna move downfield. He's gonna stretch it downfield, get to a spot, ball comes to him, and it's gonna be tough for any DB to get around him. And he's gonna make splash plays. He's gonna get some of those tougher targets downfield. Higher acuity targets. But again, when we bring those in, that's gonna be some big moments. He will get some of the shorter stuff, slants and stuff like any other wide receiver. But Josh Allen loves to push the deep ball. He loves to be aggressive downfield. They know this. They needed a wide receiver with a good catch radius who can get downfield. This is the perfect match for Keon Coleman. Josh Allen, Keon Coleman, it's like the perfect pairing. Like if you had to pair up these wide receivers coming out of the draft with the quarterback that fits them best, Josh Allen. Like I've said before, like for an example, like I couldn't put him with a Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott is a little bit too conservative, even though it says his last name weird. And he probably would not get the same amount of targets because he wouldn't be considered as open as he is with a Josh Allen. Josh Allen's just gonna sling it to him because Josh Allen's got the cojones to do it. That's what we like about Josh Allen. He will push it downfield and this is going to allow Keon Coleman to maximize his upside, allows him to be a good fit for this team. I'm excited to see how this transitions, how this develops. But Keon Coleman's been doing things in camp. He's got a lot of upside. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button on the way out. One thing for watching. Catch you on the next video.